Gabe Castro. Nice work, man. Uh, I've got Rob right here. Boom. I'll move this aside. Thank you. All right, Rob Brown. Is Rob in the chat right now? I thought I saw him. RB Sound Design. <clears throat> I saw him tweet, I think. I'm pretty sure. If not, uh, he might just end up... Uh, I don't know, rolling in whenever. <laughs> Maybe watching the VOD. Uh, Alfredo, is there going to be a real talk on November 24th, Turkey Day in the U.S.? We're in Vancouver, Canada, so yeah, probably. We already had a Thanksgiving. Matt says, overall, I think it's pretty good. Yo, Matt Straight Talk says it's pretty good. Not bad, Gabe. Some minor tweaks to the reels to help, but, some, but really good bass. Rad. Really good. Really good. 24th is just another day, says Matt. Exactly. Oh, Rob Audio! There he is! There's Rob Audio. Thank you. Good to see you, man. So yeah, Rob has been a long-time viewer as well. I'm glad to have him here. You guys can see this, right? There we go. A little better. Uh, look at this site. Look at this. Rob Brown. Real. What else do you want? And like, if you care, there's a button. <laughs> That's wonderful. Very good. Let's go into the about first. About. Hello, I'm Rob, a freelance game sound designer. I started in game audio in 2015, which led to my first title with Fat Walrus Games, developer in Japan, called Why is a Princess in the Magic Forest? Strong name. Three subscribers. Uh, I've continued to work on my craft and was recently mentored by game audio guru Will Morton of Solid Audio Works Rockstar. This led to my first console credit with Madden NFL. <clears throat> Current projects include the indie title Battle School with developers Waterman Studios and a research project examining oral guidance uh, systems in VR. I graduated in 2015, Sam Brushing degree, final year studying BSc Honors Sound Design at Edinburgh. Yeah, he's in Scotland, yeah. Um, whilst here, I've worked with students creating audio for mobile tablet games, I've my skills for the audio middle world game engines. Intern, research assistant here at the University, Foley, Animation, and VR. Cool. A lot of VR stuff, man. Yeah, yeah. Madden, says Jeff. Great job, Rob. Oh, yeah. Also worth mentioning, I met Rob at Game SoundCon. Came by the FMOD talks. Hung out for a bit. Him and... Uh... I can't remember his name. Damn it. Andrew, maybe? Was it Andrew? A lot of folks. I'm also a member of BAFTA Crew Games, based in the UK. I've been kicking around the Game Audio London drinks. Yo, good about page, man. Really good. And no typos. Work. Uh, Matt says, always think bios with mentions of current work always get out of date quick and need to be constantly updated. Yeah, it's just like a blog. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's look at this blog. Uh, okay, cool. Looks good. Carrying down. All right. Blog. What's your last post? October 10th. 10 days ago. Pretty good. How before that? August, a few months, July, July, June. Cool, this is actually not, not bad. Not bad. Let's jump into the reel. We got full volume, I got full screen, and I got my mic off, and I'll press play. Let's do it. From 39, oh! Tight, bring it in tight. Let me tell you something. That was the best practice of the season. Too scary. Way too scary. <clears throat> Minus points for being too scary. Good job, man. <laughs> Let's jump back in. 
All right. So, thoughts. Very juicy selection sh sounds in there. Yes. Isolation, what a task. Yes, yeah, seriously. And that is a good sounding game. That's a bold choice for redesign because that game sounds amazing. It's by Jeff Van Dyke. Actually, S. Mishra in the chat right now of Assault Android Cactus. His audio director was also audio director on Isolation. Good game. Damn good game. Too scary, though. Let's, uh, let's have a look here. We got presentation first. Book ended. Book ended. Killer. A minute and five. Great length. Really good. As far as titles and stuff, yeah, they do the job. It's fine. Um, might have the same problem as uh, as Gabe a bit, being like too far into the left, but not a big deal. Um, glad you have released and what you did and um, engine and so forth. Uh, Snats was here. I don't know if he still is, Joey. Not sure. Um, the the one thing I would I would note on title cards is I'd probably have like the title of the thing is just a bit more emphasis. That's it. Just 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 a presentation thing, you know. Have like Madden 17 in bold or like underlined or whatever, just to be like, this is the important thing you need to know, and look back up, and this is all the sub sub information, because right now it kind of implies that uh... why the text move? Look at this. What's going on here? <laughs> Otherwise, it's kind of like this is a, as important as this stuff is, and it's a lot of um, this is kind of like the, the subtext, right? But again, really, really just minor details. Uh, and sure, I mean, I, I kind of prefer crossfades to hard cuts just because it kind of keep, keeps it easier to flow. But I watched the whole thing, didn't feel like it was a waste of my time, so that's good. <clears throat> so, uh, Let's see here. Resigning a horror title seems like a rough idea because horror is so dependent on audio to be scary. It's easy to miss stuff in redesign. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's tough too, especially when you're like jumping around like that because it's kind of like, it's not like you're designing one fluid scene. It's like cut, 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 cut. So it's a bit like dis a, a bit uh, jilted, I guess. Is that, is that the word? In that it's kind of jumping from this to this with no warning. That's kind of why I was saying crossfades might be smoother, as it's kind of since, since you are choosing to cut like here and here and here and here, it's a bit uh, abrupt at times. But whatever, not a big deal. Yeah, jarring says. Cool. <clears throat> All right, so let's talk about material selection, shall we? What are your thoughts, Matt? I think starting Madden is pretty awesome. It's a good title. Magic Forest looks way different. And then into Battle School, work in progress. Are the titles moving? Is that what's happening? <laughs> I understand, like, I'm clicking here and here, and, like, the titles move to the left. I don't get it. Uh... Yeah, it's fine. Like it's it's God. having one redesign at the end as far as something you'd like to get more into is is kind of indicative of, of your goals, which is good. Uh so Matt wouldn't put Matt at the top. It's the biggest thing you've worked on, but it's the least personal you've worked on. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I have no preference personally. I think that the fact that you have everything in a concise uh minute long bit with quick jumps between I'm not too concerned with like the personal aspect, but it's it's a worthy note, yeah. It's a worthwhile note from Matt. <clears throat> His mad premiere skills, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. So I think that yeah, it's a good mix of stuff. It's cool. And sound editor, mix of roles too. Design implementation, Unreal Three. It's good. Uh, sound design implementation, Unity. Good. And redesign. It's a good mix. Let's go content quality, shall we? Back into this. From 39, oh, Quinn over the top, and he blocks it, and the Rams fall on the football. All right, man, bring it in tight, bring it in tight. Like it shipped, and you had a supervisor on this project, so of course it's fine. Of course. <sighs> okay, so this goes Magic Forest, PC Steam.
it's kind of like similar notes to what I was talking to Gabe about regarding high frequency stuff being louder, but it's less of a problem in these case. Uh, here it happens with the 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 laugh or a, oh the the sheep. It's a bit it's a bit sharp, but it's not that bad. And the same thing. And this this caught me off guard. Those? That. It's pretty high pitched, and I think that that kind of thing, like a high pitched element, can work really well for a UI element, but it's got to be like pretty quiet. Because again, it'll punch through the mix. You don't need to worry about that. If it's that high pitched, and if it's a tone, a tone is even more so going to punch through. It's just so efficiently reproduced by your speakers and interpreted by your ears. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty loud, man. And it looks like you're doing this in Unity right now. So I think this is pro. Like you might have access to actually change that now and like recapture it. Maybe? I don't know. If you, if you have it in Unity, then it might be worthwhile to drop that down like 12 dB and just recapture this. Because it definitely pulled me out of everything else you did for this entire section. I just heard the loud UI thing. Furthermore, uh, this is kind of a, a general philosophy thing um, regarding UI sounds and phrasing. <clears throat> well, not even UI sounds, but just, it, it is in this case it is appropriate for 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 um, UI because of the the use case we're looking at right now. But just in general, when you have sounds that you can reasonably expect to follow in order, like one two one two. In this case, like hover click hover click. Uh, it's it's worth considering um, reflecting the progression in navigation, in this case in UI, from kind of a consideration into a confirmation, a hover into a click. That is a inherent progression in in navigating through the UI. And but in audio, there's no change. There is like a different sound, sure, but the main event of that sound, like the main element, is the that that high pitch kind of whistle sound, right? And if you listen to it right now, we've got it's like it's really really similar. It's a like it's a bit sharper, I guess. Not not sharper like abrasive, but like sharp, um, you know, higher pitch. <clears throat> but it's barely. So it's very common, like if you like uh, have a have a a mouse over like boom 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 or boom boom ping boom boom ping. Therefore, you have like a one sound for this, and then when you go something else, it's like boom, and that that common element moves somewhere else to mirror the fact that the player is moving somewhere else in the navigation of the UI. Does that make sense? So if you, if you have it like bop 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 bop, there's no change, and it gets a bit repetitive. In that case, it was like the big, the big impact, which helps a lot. But the fact that, like Matt says, that HUD bit cuts, it couldn't possibly hurt to have like or or something like that. Uh, Matt says, likes his muscle is very low and subtle, likewise. This is challenging because you're not really, uh, well, it's kind of, I don't know. Well, there's no panning. So listen to the uh, the fire here and close your eyes if you have speakers or headphones. Right now. So it stayed right in front of you the entire time. It stayed here. Uh, redesigning first person perspective stuff is challenging because you need to like, manually make it all work as far as perspective goes it's ugh, it's not fun at all but you could totally have like you know drop marker here and then drop marker where it turns and just like pfft, automate panning go hard right and then back to where you were again or just automate on the fly record it but it's probably worthwhile as far as designing what it should sound like
It's cool that it drops off intensity as you run away from it. That's nice. UI is clicky as it should be. Pretty cool. Yo, good, good, good freaking flashlight. <laughs> Pretty good. I, I'm missing the voice here, man. I mean, this is so... I mean, the game's called Alien, right? So I, I think that perhaps it's a missed opportunity of designing the Alien. It's like kind of squelchy. But there's no... There's no roar, no scream. Yeah. Oh, wait. Fade out, man. <laughs> Put those premiere skills to use. Pop. Pop at the end. Yeah, small detail. Not a big deal. Uh, but yeah, SFX-wise, it just sounds great. It sounds really good, man. As far as, uh, I mean, the whole point of... Yeah, Pop says Ali. Correct. Um, the whole point of redesigns is to indicate that you want to be doing this, right? That's why you do this. There's no other reason to. And I think that you're doing it well. I think that this, like, the ambience sounds great. The, uh, the flashlight, the explosion sounds great. The UI sounds great. There's like no footsteps there, but I mean, it's easy to, with redesigns, it's, it's easy to like pull out single things you missed, it's, uh, but otherwise, it sounds cool, I like it. Get that monster in there though, get that monster, man. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it, so as far as, yeah, see ya, Cole, thank you for hanging out, man, I'll see you around. <clears throat> so as far as uh, content quality goes, really good. Overall, like pretty pretty solid. There's some small elements here and there that could use some polish, do some detail work, but overall, really good. Uh, distinction. Well, the site's great. <laughs> it's really good. I like you're not wasting my time. I like this a lot. And you have the active blog. That's pretty cool. It shows you're serious. Uh, I like the mix. Like the material. The fact that your reel is like just solid as far as its construction is definitely helpful a lot. Um, uh, work, let's see here. I've seen this. Oh, it's replacement, okay. Um, battle school, coil pickup design. Cool. Uh, robot animation. Oh, I see commercial credits, I understand. Uh, cool. Let's see this. RB sign design logo. Why isn't this in your reel, man? Let's see this right now. Why isn't that being used? <laughs> it's 13 seconds long, mind you, but... Um. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I have notes, but no, no big deal. Uh, nice, man. Yeah, overall, pretty cool. I think that your, your real being a good mixture of what you have done, what you want to do, is really positive. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'll have to say about that. Pretty good. <clears throat> and Matt says he likes the big button. You got more stuff. Let's click this button. Full clips. Oh, it's this page. Okay, yeah, sure. Gits. Yeah, right goes in the shell, man. Gits. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, cool. Really good, man. Uh, Matt. So, yeah, stuff you shipped and worked on is good, as always. Yes, always good to know you are reliable enough to do the work on time, on a deadline, and as required. It's excellent. Um, I think that's about it, right? It's about all? Cool. So, Matt isn't going to know what Gits is, but he knows Ghost in the Shell. Yeah, don't assume people know anything. It's a good point. Very good point. So I think I'm going to call it right there, guys. Uh, Rob, of course, if you have any more questions or anything, let 
either one of us know, we're always happy to do follow-ups and such. And especially because not many people actually ask for follow-ups. I guess we're concise enough and thorough enough in the real talk. <clears throat> so I'll do one more of these. Thank you so much. Some strong